This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today on this wonderfully hot summer day. I went for a toy hunt early this morning and surprisingly I was able to find Rhinox. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. I love the artwork on this particular one. And it's good to see that uh, Hasbro is keeping true to their promise to reduce the plastic included in their packaging. So, all that being said, well, let's take a look at the side here. Also, in the back, 35 steps. Let's see if that holds true or not. Stay tuned. And here we have Transformers Kingdom Voyager class Rhinox. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, what he comes with. He does come with the instructions that we've become used to, the white and green. They do a very decent job. The number of steps is accurate, I can see that. Um, you also get your card. Um, again, I don't know if everybody's gonna get the same, but what I got was Megatron and Galvatron. So there you go. And here we have Rhinox. Uh, he does come with two weapons, but they're currently stored inside him. So we'll go over those when we have him in robot mode. But uh, let's take a look. I think for what he is, he's a Voyager class. But he is nicely detailed for just being a rhinoceros. Uh, nicely painted in gray with a nice detail there on the skin, if you can see that. Um, he does have lighter gray in spots just to break up the solid color a little bit. Flat on the back, no painted detail there. Uh, looking at the face, nicely red painted eye. Horns look good. More of that painted detail there on the front. Surprise, surprise. Opposite size the same. And there's his butt with his tail. Does have uh, painted uh, toenails, as you can see. There he is from the bottom. Um, you can see his weapons right there. And that's about it. I mean, not very impressive, to be honest. He does articulate a little bit. Uh, arms are limited, sorry, front legs are limited. They can't bend at the elbow, but you can splay his arms out a little bit if you want. Uh, the back feet, they do have some movement because they are on a ball, but not much from there to about there. So there is some posability, but the main thing is his mouth. You can actually open up and he does have a painted tongue and some metallic colored teeth. So there you go. And just for comparison, here he is with Cheetor and a deluxe class car. So let's take a look at transformation. There is a lot of panels, which, uh, I think everybody pretty much expected at this point. And uh, they do all move, so bear with me. First thing I like to do, go ahead and just pull this apart here. It will help you in separation. Um, some of these down here on the sides are somewhat difficult to undo. doesn't hurt to just go ahead and get the arms out of the way and give them a twist but essentially you want to get these to where you can separate this and go ahead and pull the leg back and then so in doing so we did knock his weapons out but we'll take a look at those So 
So separate everything. You're gonna give these a twist because they're on a bent knee. And just like that. There's a lot of panel rubbing on panel. It may help to, to get these up out of the way just to give you a little more clearance. But um, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and fold in the leg. So pop the leg this direction, give it a twist, and then fold it up inside of the calf. And you can go ahead and get these taken care of too. Just fold them down. They are pegged in right there. And they'll actually peg in here and just kind of tuck them in a little bit. Now, with this, there's no real good way to do it. You want to just make as much clearance available as possible. So go ahead and take care of the feet by popping it loose. And folding it out like so. Give it a twist and then fold it back down. So now these guys, the thigh needs to wrap around like so. And again, there's a lot of plastic on plastic, but it can be done. So bring it out and around like that. Doesn't have the best clearance, but it's doable. Uh, once you have that done, fold that in, bring the other portion of the leg and fold it in. Just like that. And we'll show that again. Now for the other side. Bring your hip piece up out of the way. Go ahead and rotate the leg down on this knee. Make sure that the back flap is folded out. Pop your foot loose. Go ahead and rotate it and rotate it up again. Now, again, plastic on plastic, and you can see it's putting some stress right there every time I transform, transform it. Don't like that step. Uh, go ahead and store the leg. So bring it up, twist 180, fold it in. Let's go ahead and store this section here. Unpeg it, bring it down. This peg will peg into that section for storage and just kind of tuck it in here. Straighten the leg out. You'll notice if you have it right, when you straighten the leg out, it'll actually pop this down for you to the proper position. That's how you know you have the back section of the leg right. And then fold it down. These large pegs will go into those holes and there's another one down there at the back. And it doesn't hurt to, to line up this piece with that little notch from where it's pegged into the back. All right, there we have the legs done. Position the side pieces so that they're like this and pointing out like that. You'll want to bring out the chest, unfold it, and plug it back in. It gives you the visible jaw in the front. Go ahead and pop the head and shoulders backwards. From here, you actually want to pull out the sides of the chest from underneath the rhinoceros's head. And these will come forward. And as you do so, twist the shoulders back, bring the head around, 
go ahead and secure the back on his back or the rhinoceros head on his back I should say twist the arm lift up on this section Bring the hand out. And it'll snap back into place. Same on this side. Twist the arm around. Twist it out. Bring the hand around. And pop it back into place. And there we have transformation all done. So let's take a look at the figure. Uh, he is fairly nicely painted. Um, I do like the red and gold and green for the head. Looks really good. Nicely painted gold on the chest with the teeth. Looks nice. Don't like this, the pins on the front though. But uh, coming down, you see he's got the gold in the crotch. And then lots of rhino. So, not much detail, um, just what you, we already saw in Rhinoceros mode, to be honest. Uh, this is the only paint that we, we have in addition to what's on the head. A little bit of paint here on the shoulders, but the rest of it is green plastic. Um, which, yeah, I mean, he, he's okay. I'm going to put a picture of cartoon mode right here, just for comparison. And now we can bring in his weapons. Uh, he does get two of these. And they peg together for alt mode. To be honest, alt mode is really, the storage for it is really a pain to utilize. So I don't anticipate using it, but it just does, these do peg together uh, with the, diff the alternating holes. So just like that. But it's really somewhat difficult to get in there in one piece, but you can if you want. But these do fit into his hands and they are nicely detailed with silver paint, gold paint. Nice edges on them. They both look good, really good. So Articulation wise, uh, the shoulders are on a butterfly. Uh, arms can do a full 360. Uh, they can go all the way up, although it is quite a bit loose. Uh, head, it's on a ball. You can get up, a little bit down, some attitude, and do a full 360. He does have some ab rotation, but it's hindered by the, by the torso. Um, arms, again, just to continue, uh, you do have an elbow bend, which is a little less than 90 degrees to be honest, and then some a bit, a swivel right above the elbow. Legs can go out that far, up that much, back that much. Knees are You know, they have a really, they have a decent amount of range for what he is just due to transformation, so he can get more than 90. And then the feet, a uh, little bit down, small mount up, but a really good rocker, so. He looks pretty good. Another comparison shot, here he is with Dinobot and Optimus Primal. Final thoughts. I'm not going to lie and say that I don't find this really somewhat disappointing. I mean, from the back, he's just a mess. There's waffles everywhere. And it, it just doesn't seem to come together for me very well. I mean, I get it. It's a rhino that transforms into a robot. 
but they could have taken a little more time to just perfect the bot a little bit. But, uh, I mean, other than that, he, he looks pretty good. The uh, sculpted detail on the front is decent. I mean, he looks he looks the part. I do like the, uh, the mouth chest. That looks pretty cool. But, all that being said, if uh, you're into this line, then by all means, yeah. I, I do recommend him just to to come to a complete set but if you're not collecting any of the kingdom line and you see this guy um he's he could you could pass to be honest but i mean i'm glad i got him let me just say that so all that being said if you have any questions if you don't agree with me by all, by all means let me know in the comments but uh thank you for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, I hope to see you again next time.